Louisville's only HBCU, Simmons College. I love Simmons. I love my HBCU. I wouldn't trade my HBCU for nothing. The college is taking a significant step to improve campus life for students like Jasmine Whitfield by adding a key component, a residence hall. I love that we have our own dorms now. I love it. Like, I couldn't change my, my school for anything. And that pride is infectious across campus. With the opening of the new residence hall, students are living on the campus of Simmons College for the first time since 1924. It feels like we own something. Coined a comeback HBCU, Simmons is the only HBCU who lost its campus in 1930 to the University of Louisville. It bought its original campus back in 2006. When I started at Simmons in 2005, we had no buildings, no accreditation, no HBCU status. We were on the verge of closing. But nearly two decades later, the college has not only survived, but thrived. Yeah. The new residence hall was celebrated Thursday with a $1.2 million donation from the state. Another $2 million donation came from Winston and Alma Pittman, whose name will adorn the building. The additional funding will be used to continue construction to the South Wing. If you are an alum of a college, you know sometimes when you come back home, you often use this phrase as a complaint. You say, they didn't have this when I was here. <laughs> and I don't say that as a complaint. I say that with a sense of pride because we literally did not have this when I was here. And the work continues. These renderings show some of the expansions they're trying to make here in this residence hall. Things like a gym and even a student cafe. For Simmons is here, Simmons is alive, and Simmons is here as an important and an effective impact. DeAndrea Turner, WLKY News.